Well, welcome back, folks. It's uh, Saturday, April 1st, and I'm working on my, getting to work on my smoker here. Uh, in my last video, I kind of gave you a preview of where I was headed with this, and today I'm kind of start, starting to put some of that into action. So I've uh, gotten a little bit started here, and I'm going to show you what, what I'm up to and uh, why I've done some of the things I've done. So let me get turned around and kind of explain things to you. Okay, folks, well, the first thing that I've done this morning is I went to the steel yard, bought some more steel, and I bought myself another uh, piece of this uh, half inch by three quarter inch steel um, bar stock. And you can see that I've uh, added a fourth, uh, a third and a fourth piece there. It's not welded in yet, in fact, you can see here where I've kind of marked out where I need to sand off so I can uh, uh, get a good weld through, and I don't have to weld through the paint here. And so I've jacked it up and put those extra pieces under it. And uh, I just wasn't satisfied. I thought it had a little bit of a bow to it uh, after just the two, so I've doubled it. Another thing that I've done this morning, and you can tell by the little rust mark here, I've moved this thing over by about, I don't know, four or five inches, four and a half inches, something like that, my calibrated eyeballs. And uh, so I've moved the whole thing over by myself. Granted, I have to use a little bit of a lever and whatnot to get things moved around because it's, I mean, I can't just pick it up. Um, but, but I can, you know, one person, I've done this by myself today. Um, so I've moved it over several, inch, several inches. And the reason being is because when I go to put a sides on this, I was uh, worried about how far the stack sticks out the back of the smoker and uh, running into the, uh, the siding as I try to put it down the side here. So uh, I moved it over, you know, four and a half, five inches, something like that without measuring. And um, now you see I've really narrowed down this opening. I'm still going to cover this opening with uh, expanded metal because if I don't, it's just an accident waiting to happen. Somebody stick a leg down through there and get a broken leg, a broken ankle, and it wouldn't be good. So um, I've got the I got the extra expanded metal over there to use, and you know it's just one more thing. I have decided that I am going to weld down the. Uh, the smoker to the trailer and so that's going to be on my agenda here today provided it doesn't rain it's supposed to stay clear it off today or actually clear off more than it is today you can tell uh, the ground out here is really wet we've had a few days or two and a half days of rain and some pretty good storms came through here so this is what i'm up to today and hopefully i'm hoping by the end of the day I can have, uh, I'm going to weld these uh, uh, cross members here down. And I'm going to weld the, uh, as I explained before, I'm going to weld that flat steel down. And then weld the, uh, cut and weld the uh, expanded metal down across here. So I've got, you know, several things planned out to get done today. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Thanks again for watching. Okay, folks. Well, it's not going to move now. This thing, uh, it better be where I want it because it's definitely not going to move very easy now because uh, it's welded in place. So I, you know, sit down, sit back, and did a little thinking about it. Made sure that I had things where I think I want them. Um, and. Uh, and I've welded. Now I only did. I did only weld the uh, outsides of each one of these. You can see back over here on the inside. I did not weld them. So I maybe you can say I compromised, but um, I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, so so here we are. We got also got this uh, all welded down. Now the box is not physically welded to those cross members there, but. The cross members are 
welded to each other and welded to the frame so they're not going anywhere so now it's time to begin working on the uh, I don't know what better to call it than a walkway but that's really not much room to be trying to walk on so in most cases I doubt if anybody will actually be putting their their body weight on that but like I said before um, not doing anything was sure would leave a good place to uh, get a leg stuck down in there and twisted and broke off <laughs> probably not totally broke off but it wouldn't be good so that's where I'm at I'll get back with you here in a few okay guys well and ladies um, I've had a great day because everything seemed to go just as I planned and I got everything accomplished that I set out to get accomplished today. The sun's getting ready to go down on me shortly and I got to get things cleaned up. But uh, let me get turned around show me, show you what I accomplished today. Okay, so as I told you I set out to do, I got this uh, expanded metal all welded down here and uh, it's looking good I've been you know, I actually got up on there before I before I hit it you can see it's still wet actually before I hit it with some primer there um, I got up on it and easily seems to support my weight with you know, no give of course you know that's uh, I, I don't even know what the tensile strength on that steel is but uh, I'm sure that my approximate oh, 240 250 pounds isn't gonna isn't gonna uh budget if you understand what i'm saying um and it didn't that that expand of metal <laughs> it didn't it didn't it laughed at me i guess <laughs> so there you go folks that's what i planned on getting done today and uh so i'm pretty much ecstatic because that's exactly what i did get done as i told you before i got the smoker welded down and uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's going so now on to the uh, um, work platform that I'm gonna build out here to the to the side the uh, folding uh, work platform that I told you about in the last video okay my YouTube friends I got some Big things going on over here that I've been working on. Well, not just today, but several days uh, off and on. Um, not as fast as I'd like to. I've been dodging the weather. I'm also a full-time uh, college student. And I work full-time, so uh, working on this uh, smoker is really kind of like threading the needle right now. And so, but at any rate, I'm making some good progress. And I'm to a point right now where I think that I can show you... Um, at least enough that you can get a kind of a better idea of how I'm going to make this platform. So let me get turned around and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, well, first thing I want to show you is I have totally sold out on welding the uh, smoker to the frame of the trailer. And as you can see here, I've got it. I've got the uh, the legs of the trailer there welded on to uh, this upright that I've got welded down here to the frame and then when I turn around over here you know this is the, the actual firebox over here and it looks nice and shiny there the firebox does but that's not because I uh, it's not been raining yet Although it's threatening right now and I've got my tools and everything kind of covered up but uh, so over here on this side I, the upright I've welded the uh, the upright here to the firebox and that's strictly to give it some good you know stability right there so what's the purpose of the upright and that's you know that's where I'm going here and you can see that I've been welding here just tonight today tonight whatever uh, to the frame and I've got some uh, like three quarter inch round uh, 
that I've welded to the frame here and welded it on top and, and welded it real good on top but then uh, and then hit it a couple places on the bottom. The top really is what's going to be supporting the weight. But then you come over here and you can see the beginning of this frame that I'm building. And I put that on there just to kind of give myself as much as you folks a uh, idea of where I'm at and where it's heading. And uh, you can see here I've got a piece of half inch uh, round stock run through here that's going to be the uh, center, the center, you know, the, the pin and the hinge. Um, and it's going to, I've got a longer piece that I'm going, that's actually the excess right there. But I've got a longer piece that's going to run the length and I think I'm going to try to drill a hole through it and put a cotter pin on one end and then cut and, and then I'm sorry bend a L into the into this end for like a handle purposes and so this is uh this comes out three feet from the trailer there so that should give me plenty of room to be able to stand on this platform and open my doors up and not not knock myself off the platform doing it so that's the purpose of this platform now the purpose of the uprights is to be able to take this and you once i get it all together and have pins i may end up welding a tab onto the uh, to the upright and use pins to hold the platform in the upright position um, in the upright position for travel purposes so that that's the purpose of the two uprights now and uh, as I told you before on the tire and you can see where I've got the 90 cut into the uh, the beginning of the frame here that will come directly out just far enough that it can clear the tire when it folds up and down and and then uh, you know I'll have to cut my uh, expanded metal to go around that as well so that's where I'm at and hopefully using this uh, little video here this little uh, video clip uh, you can kind of get a better idea where I'm going with this platform idea so all right uh, this may be the end of this video, so I'm going to tell you to stay tuned because there's going to be more to come. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, YouTube. Well, I've been making some good progress today. Um, I told you that last clip might be the last one, but when I started putting the video together, I realized I didn't have too much. I uh, still had some time left that I could add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one to that video, <laughs> and obviously because you're watching it. Um, however, um, I've got some big things going on here and uh, made some uh, changes in my plans as I've gone along to. And uh, I got something else that I wanted to show you. And by the way, I wanna, for, I wanna apologize for the wind noise. As you know, it's springtime and it's that time of year. So at any rate, let me get turned around and show you what we're doing today. So this morning, I went out and bought myself a uh, 5 8 inch piece of, uh, you know, 4 by 8 um, OSB. And I used that for two purposes while I was making this frame. Um, I used it to help make sure I was square here on the edges, especially along my hinge edge here. Because I needed to make sure that my, uh, hinge, my hinge is all lined up. So when I move it over there to the trailer, that I that it that it matches and I can drive the pin all the way through them. Um, needless to say, I am tired of we welding uh, box one inch box uh, steel because there's 48 welds in this thing and uh, and I'm not done with it yet. I'm done for tonight because I'm tired of welding box box steel. So I've got to move on to something else. Um, and I wanted to tell you uh, over here, you know, I kind of showed you the, uh, on the last clip where I welded these uh, angle iron onto the frame of the trailer. 
But I didn't very much explain to you how I went about doing that, especially down here at the frame. And you know, maybe it looks like this is just a piece of angle iron uh, welded directly to the top of the frame. It's not. Um, what I did was cut a notch into the angle iron and hopefully you're going to be able to see this. But I cut a notch and then down on the back side there you can see it, it, go, it extends all the way down to the uh, bottom of the frame. And then over here on the, on the front side, I went up underneath and again, Hopefully you can see this, but uh, there it is right there. And uh, I welded it to the frame from the bottom side, just to add extra strength to this thing. So what am I up to now? I'm gonna move that frame over here and for temporary, for temporary, I'm going to uh, add it onto the trailer frame here. And I'm going to work on uh, getting my um, fixtures for when it is mounted into the upright position so I can lock it in. And over here you see I got a box of, um, I've got a box of these uh, pins that I'm going to use. Those are, those are what's going to allow me to um, secure it in the upright position. And then uh, what I'm planning on doing now, after I originally thought I would just bring it up and it would recess into the L, you know, the L of the angle iron there. But I've kind of changed my mind. And I'm going to weld a ear onto this thing with a hole drilled through it. And there will be a corresponding hole in the leg of the, uh, or into the, into the uh, frame over there that I just built that will, the pin will go through and hold it. There's gonna be one on each side that'll hold it uh, in the upright position for travel purposes. So that's what I'm up to here. And uh, here and here shortly I will, um, I'll add a little more to this video yet. So stay tuned. Okay, look what we got going on here guys. I got the uh, frame in the upright position now. And it's secured here by these uh, two pins. I told you I needed to have some like dog ears welded on there, which I've gotten done. And uh, so now this frame is where it's going to be as far as travel position right now. There you go. You can see they did the same thing over here. Got these uh, secure pins that are not going to come out of there when I'm traveling. And uh, Boy, sure feels good to do something besides wear weld on uh, box steel. <laughs> uh, I spent about five hours working on that box steel earlier, and I got a little tired of it. I've got more to do on it, and I will, but uh, like I said, not today, tonight. So, the next thing I'm going to work on is uh, I'm going to get a start on putting the legs, or actually the brackets for the legs, onto the frame here. Um, there's going to be one here in this corner, one over there in the other corner, and quite possibly one in the middle as well. And we'll just get to that when we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. So this is where I'm at. This is where I'm going to end this video, this time for, for real. And uh, once again, I apologize for the wind. It is kind of breezy today, and I know you're hearing it. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back on it. Stay tuned.